Hey guys, welcome back to another Wars and Nazo transfer episode. On today's episode, we're taking a look at Percy's Tau's ULC dream. Come on, Bill and joins Mama Lodi Sundowns. Um, without further ado, let's get into Percy Tau's dream of qualifying for the UEFA Champions League is getting closer. Um, last night, Dynamo Kiev lost to Percy Tau's Club Bruges in a UEFA Champions League qualifier um, in the preliminary rounds. Um, Pesitao's um, arrival at Club Bruges and Belgium has set the Belgium league on fire. Pesitao has already scored two goals in his last three games and um, he's been setting the Belgium league on fire. And um, a lot of support has been heading um, to Belgium and a lot of support on Club Bruges' Twitter and, and, and YouTube channel. So a lot of South Africans are really tracking Pesitao's um performances in Belgium. Um, Persita unfortunately got red carded last night. Um, he had a great game. He had two shots on target um, on the night. Um, he first got a caution in the first half for descent from the ref that was uncalled for. And then in the second half, uh, in the 80th minute, Persita clearly went for a loose ball from a free kick and he was given a red card. But um, that's that's nothing to deter the boy. I know Pesitao can 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 do uh, much more than he's doing at the moment. But I hope Club Bruges appeals the the red card so he's able to start in their next game against Austrian side Las Glens. This is a team that they'll be playing. I um, in the next round of the UEFA preliminary qualifiers. So I hope Club Bruges appeals and Percy Tau will be able to play in the next game. We really want to see him and um, I hope we'll see him in the Champions League this season. So moving on to another uh, former Mama Lodi Sundowns player in Kamabiliat. Kamabiliat joins Mama Lodi Sundowns. Um, this is an ongoing story with a lot of reports that have been floating around the internet for the past few weeks. Um, Two weeks ago, a report came out that Kamabila had agreed personal terms with Mama Lodi Sundowns um, with a wage of 10 million a year. But um, I refuted this in a video I made a few weeks back. But um, a new report has come up with Mama Lodi Sundowns acting manager coming out and confirming that Mama Lodi Sundowns are in negotiations with Kaiser Chiefs over the services of the Zimbabwean international. Um, <clears throat> this is what the manager or the standing or the acting general manager of Mamelodi Sundowns um, had to say. This is a sensitive matter. We have mutual respect for Kaiser Chiefs, so we won't um, disclose much information. But what I can tell you is that we have been ongoing discussions at the time about Kama Billiard, he explained. And it's understood that uh, Mamalodi Sundowns will have to offer big money if they want to um, buy Kamabilia back. Um, what I can say is that the transfer window ends on the 31st of August. And obviously players all over the world are moving during this period. And it's no different here. But if there's no movement beyond it, then it is what it is. We have to respect the two clubs. Um, this is a clear indication that if someone so big within the club is willing to come out and speak to the media, it's a clear indication that Mamalodi Sundowns have already agreed um, personal terms with Mamalodi with um, Kamabilet as all the um, reports suggested. 